Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20. This is his lackey. Hey lackey, welcome to episode 9. What? Oh, forever stranded. Uh, there's a there's a nasty looking boss on our, on our, well it's not really a boss, it's a juggernaut guy. He's annoying. I don't like anything about these juggernauts. But holding shift 100% does make fighting them easier. Like they can still hit you, it's not like you're immune to their damage. But it definitely like confuses their AI pathfinding a little bit. And uh, that is a huge... Huge bonus. So it's actually really nice. Uh, um, I'm spending moments here. Spending moments. Uh, getting some leaves. Because uh, I want to make a thing today. I think Dang. I'm in a position to make something that will be really cool and useful. Uh, what are you going to do? Surprises. I'm going to surprise you with it. It's going to be a surprise. Okay. Cool I'm dude? trying to get sugarcane seeds because I need sugar to make kibble to make the wolves poop. Yeah, yeah. You make wolves poop and I'll make cool This things. is the most complicated way to get a saw. <laughs> like, I already have, like, the leather ready to go, but I need to cure it and I need poop to do it. I could use bark, but to get bark, I need to have a saw. Nice. So, and all I got so far is sinuous spores, pumpkin seeds, and melon seeds. What kind of mesh is that? That's hilarious. Is this I, like, iron mesh? like I know that better with mods is is meant to be like that way, right? Like a challenging ish type of environment. So it's kind of funny to me that that's absolutely what's happening. Oh, good! It was a flint one. It wasn't a. Uh... Getting fun yet? Oh, I'm having a blast. I just sifted eighteen dirt for like no actual reward. <laughs> oh, that feels bad. Because it was a different mesh than I thought it was. I thought it was just dark because yes. of the lighting, but it was flint. Because you suck. Yes, you need to like be very careful with that and mouse over in appropriate ways. Well, the thing is that the mouse over, like the the overlay, had an error. So I was just rolling with it. And rolling with it was not nice. I might have gotten experience for crafting just then. I Maybe. heard a ding. Well, no, the ding was me completing a quest. But, like, when I crafted the item, I also completed the quest. But that is the tinker's tables that I just completed. Which unlocks the need to create grout. So unless he tweaked the grout recipe severely, I shouldn't have a problem about bouncy plates. Random things. Have you fixed our uh, storage solution yet? I'm gonna hit you in the face so hard. <laughs> There's lots of uh, chance cube things in this chest, by the way. I'm just putting that out there that it's a thing that exists. You want me to go do the chance cube thing? No, I actually would prefer you not do that. But I'm just letting you know that they're there. Too bad. Yeah. You, ah, you're a jerk. You're playing me. I would never play you. All right, so grout requires porcelain clay. So he did change the grout recipe, uh, which requires porcelain clay, unfired porcelain, porcelain clay, unfired porcelain. Okay, cool. So let's see what the difference is. Unfired porcelain is two clay and another quartz, or clay and bone meal. And porcelain clay appears to have no recipe. Unless I'm missing something. Uh, porcelain clay is clay and bone meal, or two clay and one quartz. It's like he doesn't listen to anything I just said. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. What? Your what? Why did your mind explode with the power of math? I got placed at a bedrock box. By who? By a chance oh, cube. Oh. <laughs> That's hilarious. I got me. placed in a bedrock cube with a, like some nice things, but also like TNT. Nice. That's hilarious. So there was no escaping the inevitable death right. that I'm aware of. That's fair. Did it at least despawn? Okay. I don't know where you were, so I don't have an answer to that. Good. That was fun. Let's do it again.
try not to do things in, in such a way that our base will be damaged by it. Because I'm not even kidding. If you blow up our base, like, this series is over. So you're saying that's all I have to do? Yeah, pretty much. You blow up the base, series over. And I can, go, I can go back home. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine with me. I mean, you're free to leave at any time. Like, this isn't Boy. like... What did you do now? You said I was free to leave any time. So I'm, I'm leaving. I'm going. Oh, okay. See you later. Bye. Take it easy. Go, go get someone. Don't let the door hit you. Harsh. Yeah, well, truth. So this will be Lava my tinker. go away faster. I have to say, I love this infernal chalice. Yeah. I love, like, being totally immune to heat. Nice. This is a lot of work to get these dogs to poop. I just, I want that to be on the record. Uh, no, it's on the record. The record, the record has shown that uh, making dogs poop is not an easy task. No, we're all aware. Is there like some secret easy recipe to get dirt? All this for dirt. Although now I'm just doing chance cubes for like fun. Sounds cool. There's an enderman in my wolf box. There's an enderman in, oh my goodness. Look, your problems are your own right now. I just got blown up in a box, all right? I need, uh, I I need, I need a little something from you. Why are these not nice? That is a really big hole now. Where's the stencil chest go? Where's this is that? a really big hole now. Wah, wah, wah. Well, Told that one dropped a charged creeper, so. <laughs> That's hilarious to me. There it is. Pattern chest, heart chest. Pattern chest is chest with blank pattern on top. Maybe it is not shapeless. Maybe it is not shapeless. That is a chest. Hello. Okay, cool. I don't know why doing that worked, but problem solved. Okay, cool. So now, in theory, I should be able to make my patterns like you. Uh, and finding and pickaxe and that kind of cool stuff. Okay, so that one was just a straight up, like, hurt your face one. Yeah. Uh, we may or may not have some clay laying around, you think? And bone meal? Uh, maybe used a lot of it. Yeah, I bet you did. There's some bone meal. Uh, what? What's up? So now this giant hole is filled with Enderman. <laughs> Dude, I told you not to open those things. I don't know why you're not listening. Like, I'm not even kidding about not opening those. It's a bad idea. This is, this is all kind of... The good news is, I, I think only one of these Endermen is triggered. No, several of them are. Oh, that's a teleport. That's a teleport. That was definitely... This is not a good time. Well, that was a thing that happened. <laughs> what just happened, dude? So one of the chance cubes spun a, uh, spawned a ton of Endermen, and one of them was mad. 
and then suddenly everyone was mad. So while I was trying to escape, they teleported me to the bottom of the death pit with all the deathly endermen, and now I'm dead. Nice. So I don't know how to get porcelain clay, but I knew how to get unfired porcelain. Uh, so that looks like it would be easier than the Tinker's method. I'm just wondering, like, if it's worse or better in some way. Cheap early form of Tinker's milk. Like, uh, like, is there any reason not to just keep using this? Can melt metals but cannot make alloys. Oh, that's a small version of smelting gold. Porcelain melter. Porcelain heater. Is that what we need? Can heat the melter using dog tools but has more limited temperatures. Okay. Porcelain melter. Smaller version of smelter. You can melt metals but not alloys. Okay. So that's 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 what this does. So the porcelain version of the smeltery can melt metals down, but can't. That's kind of cool, actually. I like that. It separates um, tinkers into a three-tier system instead of two. Instead of like like non-metals and metals, you now have non-metals, metals, and alloys as a third tier. That's kind of cool. I like that. Um, now, what's the deal with this thing? Um, you can melt fuel. Oh, 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 you don't sure. Turn that into a suit. I don't, I don't think I was better off for that trip. Yeah. But I, got a, I got another wolf. So some of these I can turn into smeltery versions. That's kind of neat. I want you to lock me in one of these rooms. Uh, gladly. Put me in this one and let me out when I say. I'm really, um, I'm not. Oh, okay. I see. Are you, why, why are you getting a cat? Because why not? Okay, cool. Like, you're, you don't want to just keep spamming him with fish. You know that, right? Well, um, too late. Let me out. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, like he needs to walk up to you and you have to be like standing still and he needs to like be chill and walk up to you and like kind of looking at you and then you want to hit him with the fish. Something, something sort of like that. Not 100% sure, but that's the gist of what I remember of how to do those things. Well, it's done. All right, so... We now just have a feral cat in our house. Cool. That That's exactly what I was going for. Cool. Okay, that's cool. Would you like to see I'm me down, blow buddy. more stuff up? Uh, we can blow more stuff up if you want. Then hurry up to the gravel plateau. Oh no, you can, you can, you can blow stuff up. I have work. Okay. Let's see what happens. What's the worst that could happen? You're going to regret saying that, and you know it, too. I know that's why you're saying it, even. I don't think anything happened. I heard a, a dinging noise. Does that help? Oh, there's a diamond block. There's what seems like a lot of lag all of a sudden. Yeah. I'm noticing a lot of light too. Yeah, my FPS dropped. I want to say pretty severely. Oh, it's better now. I'm at 60, but it won't let me pick up this block of diamond. And that shouldn't take too long. Oh, I have porcelain clay in my inventory. Nice. Thanks, sir. Did, did you want it? Uh, if you have a decent amount, sure. I have nine. Uh, I have a nine unfired porcelain. That's fine. I'll take it. Because I was also getting ready to do the thing you're doing. Because apparently I am still very much a untrustworthy individual. No, it's it's 100% true. That's, that's a fact. I hate you so much. 
I'm gonna need a little bit of glass, which we may or may not have some of already. If we did, it would be in here. Hey, perfect, exactly the right amount. Yeah, toss it my way. Thanks, buddy. And hopefully I can make Fahamar something nice before this episode is out. To compensate for all the trolling that I've done of him. I was gonna say, you never do anything nice for me, so. Hey, I mean, that... that's not true. I do lots of nice things for you. It's fairly not true. Fairly not at all true. Why does our inventory still suck? Uh, because you're playing with chance cubes instead of making a saw and making wolves poop. Look, dude. I'm just you asked the question, I answered it. Like the, the, like no judgment here, but that's that's the reason. I need like a hefty amount more of this, I think. Oh hey, I actually do have more fish. Where'd you get fish from even? Chance cube. Oh. Wow. Cat's gone. Uh he's over here. I mean, you don't even want to look at him. If you look at him, I think he gets grumpy. I don't honestly know. I forget. But right now, he's terrified of you and running. And rightly so. Like, when I look at you, I, I get I get terrified. And Which is why you consistently want to do mod packs with me. Right. So that's the melter. Now I need the heater. Uh, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, and a furnace. All right, stay in there. I'm going to go do another chance cube. Are you okay there, buddy? That was not me. Oh, what what exploded then? Mm -hmm. But can we come back a sec? Yes. Okay. Hi, Bomar. After much off-camera time, I figured out how the porcelain smeltery works. Neat. I built an extra block because I thought it would be required. Because like I assumed it was kind of like the, the the smelter, but it's totally not even a little bit like the smelter. Uh oh. Uh, what'd you do, dude? Tell me you didn't spawn a, a wither. Um, it despawned. Good. How'd you do that? I don't know if they're allowed to exist in the Nether. Uh, did you get a chat message of any kind? You gotta ask yourself one question, do I feel lucky? Correct. Uh, so you are lucky. Um, there are two wither spawns in Chance Cubes. One that spawns the wither and then despawns it, and one that spawns the wither and does not despawn it. So you got lucky in that it spawned the wither and despawned it. Uh, so long story short, yes, you are lucky. Um, you're really lucky. You are really lucky. Well, I'm rolling the dice again. But farther away this time. <laughs> Good. At least, I mean, I've got that going for me, which is nice. So uh, I have a smeltery now, which is cool, a porcelain smeltery, and I've been smelting up some gold uh, to build casts. So part of the quest objectives here uh, is to make a bucket cast. And in theory, I can smelt a bucket this way. Uh, although I already found a way to smelt a bucket, so we're going to see what happens. Uh, so in theory, I use this stone bucket, which is just three stone. And then I guess I'm assuming two. And you need some fuel. And now you're melting. Cool. OK, cool. So like this thing is limited in how hot it can get, apparently. But hmm. that's neat. It appears to be exceedingly slow. Or I'm imagining stuff. Or there's like something I have to do to make it actually start working. Go in here instead? Like it's the same kind of UI? Like maybe this shouldn't be here? I made this because I thought I needed it and I'm pretty sure I don't actually. But this should work? I'm just wondering why it's like saying no fuel found. 
Uh, cheap smeltery from Tinkers. What uh, what kind of fuel would I use if not coal? I mean, it it lights up when I put coal in there. See, like that lit up on the bottom. Uh, I don't see it actually using the coal though. Two buckets of space in there. Oh. Maybe I'll just leave it for a few minutes and we'll see if something behaves. <laughs> I don't know how this thing works at all, and it's hilarious. Good uh, how'd you make out with your chance cubes, buddy? I didn't die. Well, that's miraculous. So I got that going for me. Yeah, right? What other fuel source would there be outside of, like, coal? I can't really think of much. Like, charcoal, obviously, would be an option. Um, but that doesn't sound any different. There's not really a lot of guidance in here in terms of how to do things. It just says cheap early form of yada yada yada. Yada yada yada, eh? Exactly. I mean, I assume that I don't need to put lava anywhere, because, like, the quest pointed me at making only these four blocks. And it does form a multi-block, which is cool. Uh, I'm just not sure how it works. Can we come back in a minute? I want to troubleshoot a little bit. Okay. Okay, be right back, guys. Yep, figured out. Uh, yeah, breaking both blocks and replacing them seems to have fixed it, because now when I put coal in here, like, the fuel is running, and it's burning. So literally did nothing different. Uh, I just broke and replaced these blocks, and it's behaving now. So I'm guessing I did somewhere or somewhere along the line the tile and got broken, uh, and now it's behaving a little better. So that's cool. Uh, so in the meantime, let's get you guys in. I'm going to get sugar cane so that I, I can make kibble. Oh yeah, that sounds cool. I'm going to want this to be reusable, so I'm thinking I'll actually use gold for this. So I'm gonna... Oh, did you really reset when I placed another one in there? Because that's super annoying that you do that. You reset my smelting progress by putting... Okay, that's cool. I wouldn't expect that. Boring. We'll let that run. Um... So, ooh, I have seven levels. What should I level up before I die? I can totally see myself. I might want to level up attack. By the way, did you know you can like get little points? Like I got the fossil digger from mining. I don't know if that's something that you looked at, but you can get like little upgrades. And you get skill points every time you level up something. Grr. Grr what? I did I did not get what I wanted. Ah, that's a shame. No, Agility, I, huh? no I'm salty. Aw. That's enough of that for now. Why so salty? Because now I need to go get more dirt. I don't like having to get dirt. How's your saw coming along, buddy? Why do you think I'm trying to get poop? Yeah, how's that coming along? I'm just I'm just asking for a status update. They haven't pooped. They haven't pooped. Good to know. So in theory that should do that. And I'm gonna wanna put those three in there for smelting that. And you're gonna cast Okay, cool. So we got that. Nice. Alright. Uh, I completed the quest, buddy. Yay. That is in the survival tab. Um, loot 
choice reward. Iron toolkit, huh? Grants an extra modifier? It just needs a bunch of iron and pig iron. Er. Which doesn't sound... Er? Yes, er. That's, that's the sound I made. I mean, an extra modifier actually sounds kind of nice. I think I'm going to take that as the reward. That sounds actually really kind of cool. Yellow, if you need help with those dudes. Can you just give me an iron sword? Do you need an iron sword? I would love an iron sword. Okay, be right with you, sir. Nice. I'll just kill them, how's that? Doesn't change the fact I still need an iron sword. Well, I mean... I felt like it would take longer for me to make you an iron sword than to come out here and save your life. There was one in the chest. Well, I didn't know which chest. We have like a thousand chests. Plus, I may or may not have more experience. <laughs> I hate you so much. Still no. I got carrot seeds though. You got what? Did you say you got carrot seeds? Because that's pretty cool if you mm -hmm. did. Nice, dude. Let's try another four. How? How? <sighs> What's up? Still none. Still no poop? Still no poop. Where are they? No, I need to get dirt so I can get sugar cane, so I can turn the sugar cane into kibble, so that I can get the wolf to poop, so I can make you leather, so I can get Here. you a saw. Here. You were sitting on that the entire time. I can neither confirm nor deny. I hate you so much right now. <laughs> if only you could see the grin on my face right now. I can hear the grin on your face right now. I know you can, and that's the best part. Cool. So I need those three to melt, and then we will be good. Because I need one more copper for that thing to finish, and then I need one each for the other pieces, and that should be neat. Uh, cool. And hopefully they haven't been nerfed horribly in this pack, because if they aren't, then this is going to be really good for us, Bahamar. Berg. Are you still there, or have you left? I'm, I'm fuming. Why? 
Have you still not gotten sugar cane? I still have not gotten sugar cane. Uh... And yes, I checked. It's a 5% drop. From string. You're doing string, right? Yes, that's a string mesh. Cool. Yeah, that uh, that sugarcane RNG, though. It can be rough. I don't know if there's any... Ah, uh, that's, that's mud. Cool. You can void mine it up if you want. Void also, mines. you can compost other things, right? You know that, like besides leaves. Like leaves are obviously the easiest, but like we do kind of have wheat going on. Like I don't know if you want. I've been do doing that. apples, leaves, saplings. Oh, so you've been composting all the useful stuff rather than just getting a shear and shearing some leaves. Cool. Just I'm trying to get your poop. All right. I know, and you're doing a bad job of it. I'm going to stab you with poop. <laughs> I'm going to go get my poop knife. I hate you so much. Guess I better go make an axe. Wood. Ah, Mark, come here. What? Right. Did you find poop? No, oh, I found something better. Can you use that? Yes. Try and mine some stuff. Cool. Is that nifty? Oh, I just realized what it did. You you realize that it's dropping experience for netherrack, right? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, hello. What did you just find? Dude. What's in here? Food? I feel like we don't need that all that much, but hey, a bone pickaxe, so that's cool. It's too bad this pickaxe can't do gold. Uh, so I can put a thing on it to make it do gold. Watch it, watch it, watch it. He didn't listen. He literally just didn't listen. I care little. <laughs> You're really lucky that there's not, like, like, it looked to me like there was lava right underneath us. I have an infernal chalice. Lava means nothing to me. Apparently. I'm invincible. All right, can I have my awesome pickaxe back yet? I don't know if vein mining equals more experience, by the way. That would probably be something that we would want to test. Now, I can make a copper hammer at some point, uh, which I'm pretty sure has more stringent requirements on level. Uh, yeah, that requires uh, actually a lot of things. Yeah, hammers require quite the leveling. 11 defense, 11 attack, 14 mining, and 15 gathering. But if I made a copper hammer, then everything would scale properly. Does, did, do you feel like vein mining equals more experience or no? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't think that it would work that way. Um, so I definitely want that back. Uh, unless, I mean, I guess I could make my own, but yeah. I'm kind of kind of stuck. Are you in need of assistance? I don't know, I got 13 levels out of this so far, so... It's nice, right? <clears throat> There's that. Yeah, so like basically it increases your chance of getting experience for every block you break with it. Um, so like if you mine coal, I think you'll get more experience than if you had not had a copper pick. And it's pretty nifty. So I feel like I'm gonna have to make myself a new copper pick, aren't I? Yep. I'm also curious, when you vein mine, do you get more levels on the Tinker Tool? So you know how, like, Tinker Tool gains experience? Like, mm -hmm. break one block, see how much experience you get on the tool itself, and then vein mine and see how much experience you get on the tool. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, I got four vein mining versus. Yeah, so it looks like it's appropriate. How much did you get from vein mining? From not vein mining it? It looks like it's one per block, no matter if you vein mine or not. Okay, cool. So, so that one measures block breaking. Okay, good deal. Uh, cool, man. All right, so I'm gonna make myself another copper pick, but I think we're at the wrapping up point. We likely are. So let's just wrap up here, and we'll come back next time. Sounds like a plan. All right, double twenty signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. You know the rules. Take it easy. Bye bye.